well for Sacco on that occasion. Yeah, I remember the... Oh! Is he gonna go with Kage? Colleen is on the screen. Colleen? Interesting, wow. What a... Okay. I like it, I like it. He is a very strong Colleen player. Well, Sacco got the W against Punks Karin. And one of the things that I, I have a feeling we're going to see again is uh, this new little, I don't want to say a gimmick, but a new little trick that uh, that Sako has been busting out where he, when he has the orbs loaded, the V-Trigger yep. orbs, he, he'll dash up and then neutral jump, release the orb, and that's yeah. like a jumping shimmy. He gets a full combo. He gets like more than 400 damage if he lands that. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. So it's something that's been catching a lot of people that they, they haven't been fully aware yet that that's his new trick. I imagine that's safe, possibly even plus. Yep. And a nice use of the standing roundhouse there from Punk. Looking like Nephew. Ooh. All right, and both players about evenly matched right now. All right, doesn't go for any fancy stuff. Oh. Tried to dash up, but he was ready again, and Sako was interrupting all the time. There you go. He blocked oh, it that time. Fuzzy open. So he blocked the setup that I talked about, and then he had another layer for it. Yeah. That's the funny thing. Oh, man, Sako never fails to, to bring us with, with us a new surprise. Damn. Yeah, cause so, so, so Punk didn't want to lose all that damage like what happened to him last time, so he blocked the setup that time, and then got hit with the fuzzy. Man. Weren't ready for the follow-up. The layer two. Yeah, and, and that could literally be a low or a yeah. fuzzy. And I'm sure Sako has a big damage conversion from either one. But I like the, the way Punk is playing. Aside from that interaction where he gets wrong, and he was doing very well. He had the corner game early. Yeah, it was another good interaction from Sako. We've seen it very often. Every time that I've seen him on stream, his defense has been top notch. All right, that is punishable. All right, and big damage there from Punk. Gets a double dash. Gets the stun, builds a meter. We'll probably go for a back throw. All right. Keep it safe. We'll stand the spears. To the Parabellum. Final round. Fight. All right. Tied up one, tied up one apiece in rounds. And, uh, wow. Goes Yo! straight into the CA. She do, I, don't, I don't believe she gets Oki from this, but uh, gets it working on a nice lead so far. Nice block on the overhead. All right. And, and Punk checking with the dash. Oh, the side switch. Right? And good awareness there from Sako to not quick rise. They didn't want to take a meeting. Out of the corner. Again, oh. he blocks the overhead. All right, good. Oh, Ooh, that, that could have been ugly. Oh! oh, that was so close. He's oh, not going to get the opportunity to activate. That's the raw activate full screen. All right, and now he does have the option of pressing uh, the heavy punch and heavy kick to go for that that that, that straight dagger. Command dash yep. as well. Full screen low, from. Oh, wow, interesting choice there. Just did a raw V skill. It does have good range and a good hitbox, but uh, not it's not wins. something that you typically see as a poke. Definitely he just not. walked up and did it. It's very punishable too. It's, I think it's like minus 14 or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's double digits. Yeah. I know it's double digits. Yeah. But uh, saw the opportunity, he, he knows the range, and uh, it does 80 damage, so he just went for it, got the kill from it. And Sako puts himself on the board first. Trying to hit on the drill, converts into the knockdown. All right, and uh, Sako working on the lead, decides to just walk under. Interesting choice there, could have had an anti in there. All right, and Punk going for a meaty throw. Trying to hit conversion. Spear afterwards. Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy. Uh, Punk's a little bit not too optimal with his combos, um, but uh, you know it's his neutral game that's really working out for him. And a good round there from Punk. Round two. Looks like the Colleen pick is working out. It's just he just had to clean it up. Right, so Sako is working nice. on a full meter. Nice use of the standing roundhouse there, being very annoying with it. Yeah, he's definitely put Sako off the pressing buttons. He's clipping yeah. everything 
So many interruptions. Oh. Oh. All right, nice pressure there. Wow, the checking with the jab. Right? And then he knew he could have went for that neutral jump there because he doesn't have CA yet. Ooh! Damn, man, that was that was quick work. Yeah, turned it around really fast. So tied one up a piece now. Punk really wants to, you know, get his revenge for CEO last week. And you said, you know, it wasn't about the optimal combos there from Punk. It was about the neutral. And his neutral was oppressive in that second right. the second game. It was like yes. Sako wasn't able to really get anything going. Yeah, he's definitely at, uh, playing at that range where he's poking a lot with the standing heavy kick. Um, you know, it's a good range where he can mix in some jumps even, dashes. Oh, good, nice back dash there from Sako. Was they able to let the orb that was coming back to him act as an anti-air. Good awareness. Something only a master level Minot player would know. All right, but now feature are coming to play. Sako working on a huge lead right now. Probably not even going to need a V-Trigger to close it out. But uh, Punk being patient. I like the patience that Punk is showing right now. He's not, uh, just, he's not just jumping wildly. He's trying to, get, he's trying to really land that crush counter standing fierce. Yeah, that's what he wants. Yep. And that ran house out a couple yep. of times as well. And there you go. Hit confirmed standing fierce into the EX Parabellum. Does get Oki from this. Got the corner. Going for the throw now. One more hit. Man might get the stun. Oh, yeah, but. that's a great activation as well. He has to back off. Completely killed the momentum. Oh, he wasn't able to capitalize off the crush counter. Oh, oh no. Optimization station. That's one of the things that makes Sako so strong. Even in a scramble situation, he will, he will see something hit, whether it's an orb that he just released just in case. He knows exactly what to do in every situation. Very similar to how Fujimori is, so how optimal at every opportunity. Yep. It's really beautiful to watch those, uh, those character masters. And uh, right now, once again, Sako working on that lead. Uh, but a little bit too far there, not in V-Trigger, so Funk doesn't get that full conversion at that range. Oh, punishable. Oh. Let's see. All right, but now the V-Trigger came into play. And uh, Sako kind of going more for the Justin style right now. Just wants to close out the round safely. You don't want to take too many big risks. Oh, nice standing here. I'm surprised he didn't use a dive kick to drill out of the corner. Oh. Oh. And he's going to be able to close it now. Sako advances to top eight. And Punk. Punk with a ninth place finish. He's yeah, not, not able to get his revenge. Yeah, not able to get his revenge, and he's not able to capitalize on the trip here uh, to the Dominican Republic. Uh, Yipes, I think it was earlier, told us that he came down here because he was feeling a good.